Dingo right behind you, look. I got that one. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's gay. Like my watch. <coughs> Good boys. Gun clear. Crystal, give her a pat. Crystal. Oh. One of the few large predators in this land also participates in the bonanza. Australia's wild dog, the dingo, arrived from nearby Asia about 4,000 years ago. Its pups will feed on the plentiful supply of rodents and reptiles that are also multiplying in the abundant conditions. Trouxeram comida e rebanhos, mas também trouxeram seus cães europeus. A vida do dingo australiano nunca mais seria a mesma. O dingo é um predador astuto, forte e bem sucedido. O dingo puro é um caçador oportunista, um carniceiro que se alimenta quando está faminto. Quando as condições climáticas proporcionam anos abundantes, a população de cangurus geralmente sai de controle, destruindo cercas de fazendas e roubando os pastos valiosos dos rebanhos. É quando o dingo ajuda a controlar a população de cangurus. Mas por que caçar um canguru rápido quando uma ovelha gorda é um alvo mais lento e saboroso? I'm going to put this on Facebook. Go forward. Now the thylacines are extinct, and the dingoes are a problem for the sheep. The last wolf died here in 1936. The settlers and the dingoes were too much for them. Dingoes are thought to have arrived in Australia tens of thousands of years ago. They quickly adjusted to all habitats and became top dog in the local food chain. Why 
settlers branded the dingoes as a threat to livestock and slaughtered them in their thousands. They were victimized for the next 200 years, and in the 1980s, their reputation as a killer went international with the Azaria Chamberlain incident, where it was alleged that a dingo took the baby from her tent. And from what I've been told, it would appear the dog has stepped over the young child to get to the baby, and then stepped back over the child after he's picked the baby up. There wasn't time to go and tell people. I just yelled out, has anyone got a torch? The dingo's got my baby. People have been attacked, but it's very likely that these attacks are due to interbreeding with domestic dogs and human contact. <coughs> Dingoes are the same species as domestic dogs, Canis familiaris. The major difference is that while domestic dogs can bear multiple litters each year, dingo bitches only come on heat once a year and therefore only produce one litter. They typically make their dens in rock shelters or hollow logs and will bear four to seven pups about two months after mating. <coughs> The pups are extremely playful and are keen to explore the outside world. During this time, they are closely guarded by the father, who will protect them from any potential threat. Dingoes move in families, and occasionally in larger groups, but as a rule, they're not social creatures. They'll sometimes cooperate in catching their food, but once the prey is caught, mealtimes take on a well-established pecking order. The adults take precedence over the young, and any interference is quickly dealt with. Even this starving dingo isn't tolerated, and swiftly receives its marching orders. <laughs> 